see how we transformed this bathroom. Check it out. So this used to be a jacuzzi tub deck right here. And this was a little shower. Most of you guys saw that video where the shower arm came loose and caused a bunch of dry rot and water damage that was into the closet here. So obviously we've replaced and repaired all that drywall. I got videos on that so you can check it out. But we did all of this floor and all of this floor is heated. This is an Italian porcelain tile. Really nice. Check out the texture on that tile. This is porcelain. It's not a natural stone. So here's the Dietra heat. Got that at a comfy uh, 74 degrees. And it's running on a power module because we had to connect two wires because we have 310 square feet of heated floor in here. We got two circuits coming in, two 240 volt circuits, 20 amp circuits. And so that power module connects the two circuits so they operate as one. But yeah, as we go in the bathroom here, this is really one of my favorite bathrooms. It, this is a Waypoint uh, linen cabinet and just gave them some towel storage and whatnot. That's, I really like how we made this return from the shower bench and then we actually made it go right into the cabinet right here. And this is an Italian porcelain tile as well. It looks like a ceramic, but it's actually porcelain. Really beautiful. Check out this view. So yeah, check out this view of the foothills here out of these windows. Really cool. Yeah, I'm really stoked how that came out on the sills too. And then we made little shelves. So we got the sill, you see we do this little detail where we bring the bottom piece out like a sill with little, little ears on it. And then our shelves, we like to tuck back behind the trim. It's a nice little effect we do. Uh, use the same pebbles in the back of the niche that we used on the pan. And that's just a real nice accent, gives it kind of a spa feel. Really natural colors. I mean, check this out. The colors are just so natural. This porcelain has like four or five different colors, just enough variation to give it some interest and some color. And this goes in really nice with the pebbles. So this is a detail we haven't done too much. We used the tile floor, the bathroom floor, and we used that for the curb wrapping up and over. And we used Schluter Rondeck trim, the round one, to match. And so you can see how we brought it in here. We basically zeroed out the shower floor right here. And then our slope begins. So you can see our slope is about zero, zero right there. And it goes down that Rondeck trim all the way down to the Curdy line drain. And again, we really like the Schluter line drains. And I like keeping them off the wall. I know some people put them all the way against the wall, but I like having a little tile behind there. It helps with the waterproofing. I think you get a better seal waterproofing. And now we do have a little cut right here, which isn't ideal, but when you're doing layout like this, there's a lot of different considerations to make because, you know, if you take a look at it, think of all the places we need to consider. At the top of the niche, we got full tiles there. We got the bottom of the niche, full tiles there. Uh, we got a good cut above the window. We got full tile under the window. We got full tile under the bench and full tile up top. So you have to make some concessions sometimes with layouts and that's what it was is that little, little cut down at the bottom.
Yeah, these pebbles, again, go with the spa, really natural look. We put a sealer on them. We put 511 impregnator on the pebbles and the grout. And it kind of brought the colors out of the pebbles. Instead of having kind of an ashy finish, it really made those pebbles pop. And when we're doing pebbles, we like to use uh, the flat pebbles because they're just easier on the feet. You can clean them a little easier. It's less grout. So all in all, I'm just really happy. We have this frameless shower screen, no door, so you can just walk right in. And really clean. No frame on them to clean, no track. Just the just one clip down here. That's the only attaching point. And then we got two clips right here and right here. Delta Brizo fixtures. This is a brush nickel pressure balance valve. So we got a pressure balance volume and temperature on this handle. This handle is switches between the functions. So you got up is the shower head. This is an adjustable shower head, has different settings. You hit that button. Nice shower arm on here, <laughs> nice and tight. <laughs> you know? And then uh, the second function is this hand shower. You see us use these hand showers a lot on a slide bar. The nice thing about the hand shower is, is for one, you can take it off and you know clean, clean all the areas of the shower, or you can use it as you sit on the bench. Uh, but also, you can lower it. You know, lower it if you don't want to wash your hair. Um, you can lower it down. This adjusts real easy, higher or lower, depending on where you want it. But all in all, a beautiful bathroom. One that the guys and I worked really hard on. The design came out really nice. Couldn't be happier. And again, the tub, all of that wasted space in the tub, we were able to come up with a better use of the space with a shower bench, walk-in shower, no door, and the nice linen cabinet that we put here. Uh, we also got a Toto bidet. We're in an extra circuit down there. That's powering this Toto washlet. And these seats go for about 700 bucks. I don't know how they work. Um, I'm not fortunate enough to have one, but it has this control and it looks like, ooh, what's that one do? That one looks like it's washing your booty. But I think you have to be sitting on it to make it work. It's got all these different functions. Um, looks like there's a spray there. Um, maybe that's a massager. <laughs> I don't know. But you can see from the pictures, uh, it does its job. It sprays, it, it dries. I know it has, I think this one is the air dryer. So pretty cool uh, toilet seat here. And that's another feature. I just, I haven't messed around with, I haven't messed around with them enough to give like a good tutorial on them, but maybe I will because they're becoming a lot more popular. So more waypoint cabinets over here. Uh, Delta Brizo fixtures, undermount sinks with the quartz countertop to match, um, again, all our pieces here. So. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little tour of the bathroom that we just finished up. Maybe it gives you some ideas on what to do with your bathroom, especially if you have uh, the jacuzzi tub deck that you rarely use. You can use that space more efficiently to better suit your needs. If you're not using your tub, uh, you can do a lot with it, like more storage, benches, walk-in showers, stuff like that. So, so there you have it. Thanks for watching to the very end of this video. I really appreciate it when you guys do that. And I love reading your comments. Let me know what you think. I read all of your guys' comments. So 
Let me know what you think of this bathroom, the design, the colors, uh, any tips you have for anybody who's watching this video. It's all really helpful. And last but not least, I love you. I love being your tile coach. And we'll see you on the next video. You gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah. Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah. And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that.